Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do parallel parking with a van. A lot of people had requested for this video so I thought I should put one together. And just to let you know, I've added a pro tip at the end of this video so make sure you watch it all the way till the end so that you become a pro at parallel parking. I have used cones in this video, but if you are doing it behind a car, then treat the left corner of the car as the cone and use the exact alignments as described in this video with reference to the corner of the car. So let's see how it is done. The very first step in parallel parking is to be a responsible person and signal your intentions to the cars around you. With your signal on, approach the pylon with a two to three feet distance between the pylon and the car. When you stop, make sure you see the pylon around here in the last window. It is not exactly the middle, but it's around the middle of the window. Once you've done that, turn the steering wheel one and a half times to the right and start reversing slowly. When reversing, make sure you look all around you for two reasons. Number one, so that you don't hit anyone. And number two, to impress the examiner. You gotta pass the test, my friend. So the next step is to stop when you see the pylon around here, which is in one quarter of the window or aligned with the door handle in this way. Once you've done that, turn the steering wheel all the way to the left until it locks and start reversing slowly, looking all around you. If you got the alignments right, then this is how the parallel parking would look like. I know, this one is too close, but I want you to know that just like the zebra stripes, no two parallel parkings are identical. Sometimes you will be close to the curb and sometimes a little far, but as long as you're within 10 inches from the curb, you are fine. Now here's the pro tip. The reason why you will not get parallel parking right with this method is only because of your alignments. Depending on your height and the seating position, the alignment could vary and the most important alignment is this one. So if you're too close to the curb, then align the pylon somewhere around here. And if you're too far, then align it somewhere around here. Doing this will improve your parking drastically. Do try this out and let me know in the comment section if this trick works for you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more pro tips. And always remember, it's not just about passing the road test, it's about becoming a good driver. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.